We're going to start with a recipe that I actually, um, I think it's really fun. It's a make ahead. You know me. That's the way I, I roll and the way I do things. If I can make it ahead, especially in the summer, and especially if you're having people over, you don't want to be in the kitchen the whole time. This is uh, the perfect make ahead cool, which we need on a day like today. A refreshing summer dip. It's called my Groovy Greek Dip. And I have to be honest, I actually stole the name Groovy. A gal from tennis, uh, my, my tennis league, brought a similar dip like this, and she called it Groovy dip, gro Greek Dip. And so I kind of, um, I had to steal that name because it's, you know, I love saying the word groovy. So, all right, making a head. We're in a food processor, or you can do this um, with a mixer. I've got one block of cream cheese that I've let soften up just a little bit. So this is something you can throw together in the morning or even a day or two before, and then we're going to make it all pretty right before we pull that to the table. A half of a cup of crumbled feta cheese. So real easy ingredients, nothing real fancy, nothing real expensive. About a half of a cup of plain yogurt. Now don't get vanilla yogurt, that's not what we're looking for. We want plain yogurt. You could use Greek yogurt, which is a little bit thicker, um, but any kind of plain yogurt will work great. One clove of garlic, and I am going to give that just a little bit of a rough chop. Um, just because the food processor is going to do most of the work, but I don't want to get a big hunk of garlic in here. And then some garlic salt, about a teaspoon of garlic salt. So that's it. Cream cheese, feta cheese, garlic salt, garlic, and yogurt. So that's going to be the base of the dip, and this is the part of the dip you want to make ahead. So that, and, and refrigerate at least a couple of hours so that flavor can really get in there. And I just want to blend that up until it gets nice and smooth. Now I'm going to get to work. One more thing I didn't throw in there, and I'm going to do that now, actually, some fresh dill. Um, and if you didn't have fresh dill on hand, which you can actually, um, at the farmer's market right now, that's just the best place to get herbs. They have it at the grocery store, too. I'm actually growing um, some herbs this year. Ireland and I are really going to town. How are your herbs doing, Miss Deb? They're doing real good. Are they? They are. So I'm just using some scissors and getting some fresh dill in here. I love the taste of fresh dill. You would be impressed. you got to come over. I've got a bunch of herbs in different pots. Rosemary, even. Doesn't look as good as yours Very does, but good. my basil's doing well, and I've got some dill going and some chives and all sorts of fun stuff. Fun. Yeah, I'll take a picture of it. I, did you have a nice weekend? I had a wonderful weekend. You had a big wedding in the family. We did. Oh, you know what? Deb's not mic'd up. Here I am talking to her. Anyway. Um, Deb's niece got married, and so big weekend for her. Okay, so dip is done, and now I'm just going to chop up some of the veggies that are going to go on top. Um, this is a really fresh, light, wonderful dip, a lot of crunchies, a lot of veggies. So um, at this point, you've got the, the feta and the cream cheese mixture uh, done. You want to either put that on a plate or get that into a bowl and get that covered into the refrigerator for uh, about... Um, you know, if you can do it a good few hours or even, like I say, up to um, two days ahead. So dip part done in the refrigerator um, so that, you know, refrigerator can make its ma uh, magic happen and all that flavor can get in here. And then right before serving is when you're going to want to spread it on a plate or put it in a casserole dish and really dress it up. So I'm using, I love this English se uh, seedless cucumber or the wonderful cucumbers that you can get at the farmer's market. And I just want to dice that up a little bit. I'm a huge fan of cucumbers, and they're just so cool and refreshing when it's hot. I even like just putting cucumber slices in some water, just dresses up an ordinary glass of water. So I just want to dice up the cube. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going to dice up some scallions, and we're going to put this whole thing together. I've got a busy week, a fun week. Um, if you like to shop, the folks who decorate our set here, Homestead Decor, are having a big sidewalk sales um, on Tuesday in Bellevue. That whole little area, the, a, lot, a lot of different stores are doing sidewalk sales, and I'm going to be out there tomorrow from 11.30 to 1 signing my cookbook. So come by and see me. And then later this week, I'm in Cribbits Thursday. From noon to 1.30, so come see me there too. Okay, so here's our dip which we're going to say just came out of the refrigerator. And that dill in there just makes it so yummy. It's groovy. 
you know, I'm always trying to keep a few things on hand this summer, you know, so I don't have to run out to the grocery store at the last minute. I always try and have a couple blocks of cream cheese in the refrigerator. And you can just, you know, whip up so many last minute dips if you've got some cream cheese and some other things on hand in the fridge. And you look like a rock star, and you know what? I'm all about looking like a rock star, aren't we all? I'm hoping my nieces go back to my sister and say, wow, we had some great food. We cooked up some good memories this summer, because I really think we did. So, okay, onto a plate that goes, or into a pretty dish, casserole dish, whatever you have, and now we're going to start layering. Um, Deb, there I was going to say, um, chopped up some nice tomato. Uh, you definitely want to seed and dice the tomato. My tomatoes, though, that's the one thing that are not doing their thing. And we had five tomatoes on our one tomato plant, Deb, um, and Ireland's all excited about it. We came back from up north the weekend, and there were two left. Somebody ate them. I, I don't know. I, I say deer. Bob says there's no way a deer would just go up and perfectly pick three tomatoes. But I'm hoping. I'm <laughs> who's, who's a tomato thief in our neighborhood? I don't know. All right, so next we're going to do um, some cucumber. And the veggies are something you don't want to put on this dip until right before you serve it. So we've got our yummy diced up cucumber. So cool and refreshing. Some black olives or some sliced Greek Kalmata olives. I'm a huge olive person, so if you don't like them, leave them off. And then some scallions. Pretty, pretty, huh? And then how am I going to serve this? Well, in the summer, you know, I'm keeping it easy. You could certainly um, grill up some pita bread and, you know, slice it all up and things like that. Uh, how, how would I do it? Um, you know what? Pick up a bag of pita chips, and it's just that easy. And let me tell you, this is going to absolutely disappear. A really fun summer dip. It's cool. It's pretty. It's easy, and everybody's going to love it. And you can get the recipe at any area of Festival Foods. You can also, again, go and um, to our website, and then you can be entered into our Ultimate Backyard Barbecue Contest and win some great prizes and download the whole menu. So there it is, my groovy Greek dip. I think you're going to love it.